We get it. Distractions happen. That's why we designed the fully electric, full-sized Volvo EX90 with the latest technology to keep you and those around you safe. Its two-sensor driver understanding system is designed to prevent distractions and help you stay focused. Reserve your Volvo EX90 today. Learn more at volvocars.com slash US. Yo, so if, oh, I, like, no, fart, no. if I fart right now, could you guys hear it? Yeah, 100% for sure. Go for it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Are we recording? <laughs> Fuck yes, dude. <laughs> Yo, AO technology, dude. Yo, hot open. <laughs> this is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Bro gang, we are joined by the barons of the boys, the lords of the lads, the pharaohs of the fellows, the governors of the geezers, the core four of the only podcast that matters, Larry, Jimmy, Chuck, and Chef Boys. Welcome to another Boys Only. For the boys only. I guess it's just going to be a weekly occurrence um, since people are not fucking with the episodes getting split up into two. Yeah. And we understand that that was kind of a hack. And we'll get into the whole, you know, feedback that we're hearing from the audience and everything. Um, Lawrence, you want to hit us with that fit check? Yeah, let's let's do a boys only fit check. Um, James, you want to go first? I feel like I already know the T-shirt that you're wearing. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go bottom up though, because um, I'm yeah, not sorry. a cop. Uh, on the on the hind quarters are the Hill City shorts that I was supposed to send to some member of the Discord that is constantly sucking your dick. I forget his name. Um, Shout out that guy. That guy sounds fucking awesome. Oh, rude. Mr. Mr. R hood. Uh, R hood. Send, him, what up, send, him, send him the whole Hill city flow team. Cause I just did not need any of that shit, but the shorts accidentally fell off the pile and slid under a credenza, fished yeah. them out and very happy that I did not send them to him. Cause they are gas. You were right. Lawrence. Um, mm-hmm. I always am good. Five inch inseams, panties, Hanes boxers. And then the t-shirt. Mm. is the only merch that matters tm free your mind and your ass will follow <laughs> yeah forty dollars shipping way too expensive <laughs> international shipping 75 dollars according to the fucking ig comments um and yeah just you know wearing a sample the the chest hit is an inch too high we lowered that on the yep. final product but the good gildan hammer time yeah, like you always listen when it comes to fucking merch we're going to hammerstein ballroom for the 99 and the 2000 no fucking oh, corners then, uh, being cut i got apple he- apple earbud headphones but a yeti mic in front of my mouthpiece a man's fucking potting on a cooler <laughs> <laughs> is there any relation chef between this and and yeti brand coolers the best the cadillac of coolers absolutely not the other yeti brand is much cooler uh, <laughs> well, well, don't say that. Like you recommended these mics. Like I don't know how how wet do we sound right now. I don't know. I mean, the, pack, the packaging, the little the little mascot Yeti is pretty fucking sick. And according to the packaging, he gets blackout. So hey, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, Chuck, what the the Yeti that I have before I do my fit check? I have a, a second hand Yeti from a from Pal Gang, right? Pal Nation. We Trilli, tr- Trillion. Shout out Trillion. Really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, the and well, I guess we could talk about this a little bit, but there was some confusion about who was responsible for procuring yes. the hard goods that go into making um, my yeah, it, podcast. It, it, it really kind down of to, fire it all boiled down to who is who is not a baby. Yeah, it's okay, sure. Like I mean that to, that's but, uh, that's. Listen, this episode is going to be an episode of perspectives, right? Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the whole there are there are streets, some of which are one way, some of which are two way. Uh, we're we're going to dive into it. Yeah, some of which are three way. Uh, my fit check. We're not here to kink shame. No, we're not. I am actually not wearing any footwear, but I figured because we are on such a fucking hot streak, I would maybe just kind of like for the boys only pull out. Look at these guys. Chuck, have uh, you I, seen I, these? I, I showed them earlier. I just saw them. Oh, come on. <laughs> when I was peeing? Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Objectively. <laughs> They're can cool. I, just, I, I, yeah. I, was just telling, I was just telling Jimmy, I cannot, I cannot wait to rock a pair of those. Yeah, right? They're going to be fucking sick. Anyway, so maybe we'll, we'll just leave it at that and build a little suspense. And then working the way up for me, I actually have on Nike uh, dry fit or drift uh, socks. 
um, for, for all my fucking uh, risky businessing around my humble abode. Uh, I have Nike ACG shorts on their version of like baggies. I guess that they did a couple seasons ago. I love those. Those are great. Always good money. What's up? How many pockets? Uh, the new joints have like, like, uh, Oh, like Oh, number nine shit. Yo, the, 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 fi- like the fishing shorts that yeah. you're, that when we'll, we'll talk a lot about fishing on this podcast. Uh, and speaking of which I'm wearing a Columbia PFG that's pro fishing gear for all you fucking broke boys. I got the fucking real good shirt. Um, haven't fished since I was a wee lad, but yeah, this is working, like, it's, it's frat wear too, right? Yeah, a little bit. I think so. Well, my favorite thing about Columbia PFG is that it, it, it would be like poor man South to estate. So like for me, mm. this is a $40 shirt versus like your shorts were, you know, a lot of yen, a, a lot of yen, hundreds of, of thousands pockets. of yen. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of pockets. And then the best thing is that, yo, it's a size down vanity sizing situation. I'm a medium bro. So, you know, yeah. that fucking, you know, on my health and wellness journey, talk about uh, of being, being a fucking talk about your frat years. Yeah. But, but also just tr- on my, my personal journey right now of being a wayfish twink, like this really kind of is the reinforcement I need that good fucking schmedium on the sizing. And then I got the fucking bare, bare knuckles bandana up top, you know, hit that shit like fucking mellow. You bare knuckles know. down. Yeah. You already know what the fuck is going on. Um, speaking of bare chuckles, Chuck, why don't you, you got to do, do the, yeah. what's the, the Q rich, the Q well, rich and, and D miles and D miles, yeah. bro. You know, that's uh, the, the, the most iconic duo until the fashion bros, so you know, the fucking vibes, uh, co-star Jonah, Jonah Hill in the perfect score. Really? Yes. That D miles. Yes. Wait, Jonah Hill was not in the perfect score. Who was in the perfect score? Channing Tatum. There you go. Wrong, wrong member, wrong cop, <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong officer from jump street. Uh, Chuck, we'll throw it to you. Why don't you bear down and, and give us your fit check. Um, I'm not wearing shoes. I'm not wearing socks. I'm not wearing pants. I'm not wearing shorts. I'm wearing Uniqlo underwear and then a Gildan t-shirt. Yo, can we talk about, I don't know how much we want to talk about the wine tasting, but when we FaceTime Chuck for oh, the Lord. wine tasting video that will probably come out eventually, probably not. uh, I literally thought Chuck was Winnie the Pooh status. Like he had a shirt on and then just was completely butt yeah. ass naked. No, he's being, a, he's being a cool girl with his big shirt, small bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. Very, exactly. Sexy. Very cool. TikTok. Girl. Is that your, is that your new uniform Chuck? You just go, no, no pants. Yeah. Um, I just don't, I've, I just don't. Well, I'm, I'm getting a haircut finally on Saturday. So maybe you want to feel better about the rest of me, but I don't really care right now. Will that be the first time? Assuming you put on pants on Saturday, well, will that be the first time you wear pants in how long? Uh, or shorts least, or anything, anything shorts. in addition to underwear? At least a couple weeks. Wow. Really? That's, I mean, that's not, that can't be good for your mentals, dog. Yeah, you have to dress for the job you want. We talked about this on the Hidden Pot. I don't think it is. <laughs> well, I guess the job that you want is professional streamer. So like you could just be yeah. naked to be yeah. honest. Yeah. He needs a gaming chair. That's what he needs. Yeah. Not too. God damn it. We're going to fuck you. If you had an there. expensive ass gaming chair, would you like wear pants so you weren't like getting your all leaving nasty fucking skin, skin ass, marks, little ass sweat? Skid marks on the rig? <laughs> once, I, once, I, once I get a proper rig, I'm going to start wearing shirts with like buttons and shit and doing my hair and taking it all serious. So what do you do now? You wear the, you wear the EE fucking, it looks like a fishing cap almost. Dude. It's a satin uh, hat. Uh, I love it. But once I get a haircut, I might not wear it as much. I just need something to keep my hair out of my eyes so I can see people and shoot them in the games. I was, are you going to Mildred? Yeah, of course. I was in Mildred today. We were talking about, um, ironically, we were talking about your work ethic, uh, which I, I don't know. Uh, Paul had good things to say. Oh, thanks, Paul. <laughs> Yo, when has Paul ever worked with Chuck professionally where he can have I tried to get Chuck, into the matter? I tried, to, I tried to get Chuck a job as a broom boy at Mildred. Are they still hiring? I don't know. That kind of sounds sick. Uh, no, get to they, chill with Rob and Vinny all day, and Paul and Eric, and just being a professional chimney sweep of, right? of your local barber. <laughs> That'd be sick. Uh, no, they're they are not hiring. Banter um, all day. Yeah, they professional just banterers. Another, they just hired another barber, though, right? Yes, yeah, Sanford, I think. A um, fifth, a fifth apparently sick. Thing. Yeah. He's nice on the sticks. That a nice uh, a confirm. cutsman. A cutsman. <laughs> uh, Okay, so I guess that's Chuck's fit check. Just nothing besides a t-shirt and and panties, obviously. And then and then Chef, uh, why don't you go now? Uh, so yeah. sure. I just turn I when I turned my video off uh, a couple seconds ago, that was because I had to go put some pants on. Um, oh wow! Yeah, not wearing any shoes. I, I was also just wearing uh, wearing the briefs, but I threw on 
uh, the first pair of shorts I saw, but these are the same ones that I was wearing at the wine tasting last week. The the Stone Island Stony uh, Twin Trunks the Happies, uh, and then yeah. and up top Two Face. It's like a Two Face John. The Saggies. <laughs> yeah. And then up top, just a New Goons t-shirt. I've worn this a billion times. It's like sick. Shout out New Goons. Shout out all our fucking warriors of radness out there. Very fucking chal. I always forget that we're gonna do that. I don't. I don't know why. Like the fit check. Yeah. (laughs) I'm so used to coming as I am, but yeah, you could you could probably not lie. You could just say y'all wearing like a Tom Ford tuxedo. I don't want to do that. No one. You could you could cap. You could cap as opposed to like I wasn't raised that way. Yeah. (laughs) By LeBron James. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>